Hey everybody, it's Benjamin here at the Centitar Fragrance Channel, coming back at you with another fragrance review, more fragrances, more colognes, more perfumes. Today we got another beautiful fragrance from Possets. This is called Shah Jahan and Mudza Mahal. So this is a very interesting fragrance and a very good fragrance, and I want to tell y'all all about it. Before we do, y'all know what to do down there below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, tell a friend, and when you hit the notification bell, hit all notifications. Because if you don't, you won't get notified. YouTube is funny that way. But let's talk about this fragrance. So first off, when I smell this fragrance, I got a beautiful oriental smell. At first I thought it was oriental, then I detected some of the beautiful, beautiful more incense like qualities i really you know the name kind of set me off to begin with and i really could, was able to tell that this is more of a maybe arabic or middle eastern inspired inspired fragrance but then as it dried down this fragrance takes another twist um you know there's some really elegant uh, really fancy patchouli that comes through in a really beautiful way um, you might, you know, here, here in Middle Eastern, you might expect there to be some oud to this. I really don't detect any unless there's some hidden white oud somewhere in this fragrance. Uh, what I really get out of this fragrance is a slightly spicy, slightly oriental uh, fragrance with some beautiful incense and resin. Uh, but mostly the star show to this fragrance is a very classy patchouli. Now, Posset fragrances come off very well. And uh, the feel of the fragrances to me are usually a little bit more reserved. There's not as many top notes that really, uh, you know, punch out of the fragrance and really grab you. To me, the fragrances are really made to last. And you get more of the mid notes and the base notes. And you kind of get that tone from an oil, you know, kind of in general anyways. So this fragrance, let's talk about the performance. But before we do, I don't know if rose is in this fragrance, but I do detect a little bit of a kind of a little bit of green fresh rose but that might just be my interpretation but from what i personally perceive anyways with the with the longevity of this fragrance this was again a seven eight hours about fragrance it can last and linger longer than that it wasn't the strongest projection it wasn't the strongest uh, performer of a fragrance i've ever tried but it was a very good smell i really do enjoy this fragrance um you know patchouli can come off as really rugged and strong and it can be very loud, but the the patchouli here is a very refined, kind of like a, a gold style patchouli. You know, some fragrances are called gold, a gold version, a gold flanker. This really has that fine, classy, um, you know, it also a little bit aged patchouli. So I really do like that about this fragrance as it dries down. So this fragrance is noticeable, but it's not exactly a shouter. It's not, it's not beast mode, but... Um, it is a very distinctive fragrance in its own way, but it's not unwearable or strange to a Western nose. It just has a little bit of that Arabic flair. So don't be scared of this one if you think it's going to be a rose bomb or an oud bomb. This is really a completely, uh, I think it's really a big twist and a very nice twist on more of an oriental style fragrance. So beautiful fragrance, interesting creation. Very different from a lot of things I've ever tried. I've never really had a, experienced a fragrance like this before, and it does a good job. Again, projection more on the average side, performance-wise, and longevity is about seven hours, maybe eight hours. It's a nice fragrance. So, with the compliment factor, I didn't get a lot of compliments, but this fragrance is a very nice wearable fragrance. Perfectly unisex. I do think it's perfectly genderless. Um, I do. I don't know. You know, if ladies like, uh, you know, if men like patchouli more than ladies, and ladies don't prefer it compared to men. But I have a feeling that men might gravitate towards this one a little bit. But if you're a confident lady, this one's not too hard to wear, and it is a very nice fragrance indeed. Um, again, as a guy, I don't come across a, a lot of oriental kind of fragrances that I feel comfortable with wearing that I boost my mood. And I think that's very wearable for a guy like me. And this was a pleasant surprise. This one not only is different, it's not only unique, but it's also pretty wearable in the composition for me. So again, it was very nice. Sometimes I don't get the most compliments with a fragrance uh, because of the smell, but people do notice about how I feel, how I present myself, the clothes I'm wearing, my body language, that kind of stuff. And this stuff really does boost my mood. I really like this fragrance. And um, if I didn't tell you all about the story behind this fragrance, I'll do that maybe in my final thoughts. But um, 
this fragrance also has a good feel about it if you know the story behind the fragrance. So it's not it's a nice fragrance for sure. Compliment wise, it's just not a big compliment getter, but it can boost your mood and it can do nice things. So price wise, this is another one. It's in the $35, $40 range for 10 mils. You can get sprays, which are more expensive. I think that if you're really big into fragrances, I really do recommend the roll-ons, uh, the 10 mil roll-ons, because you probably have a huge variety of fragrances. You probably have a lot of fragrances, and you probably won't go through 10 mils anytime soon. So a roll-on is very nice for travel. It's very nice for bringing with you in your purse, and you sometimes can get away with them, you know, on, you know, airplanes with travel. So I think 10 mils is certainly a very good way to go. Anyways, um, I wanted to tell you all the story behind this. I think it's based on a very, very, a very important, uh, like couple, very historic in the Middle East. And it's like their wedding day celebration or just a, like a fragrance to commemorate their wedding. Um, to me, when I think about this fragrance and I smell it, this is more of the wedding day celebration, like the celebration before the feast and before the romant the nice uh, the night filled with romance so to me this is you know people you know throwing rice or beautiful incense um, you know gold robes uh, very fancy affair you know a big event for two very special and maybe f two very famous people so very interesting fragrance the resins do come out with a tiny bit of natural sweetness and I really do like it and there is a little bit of vanilla if I didn't mention that but to me the vanilla doesn't steal the show I didn't want to focus on it I think the vanilla is very much in the background and a very much a supporting player instead of like a key player so very nice fragrance beautiful creation uh, again paw sets you did a wonderful job creating a interesting artistic different fragrance for the indie lovers for people who want something a little bit different um i think that this is a great again one of your great creations so thank y'all so much for you know sticking by watching my review today hopefully y'all enjoyed my review um you know if you like this fragrance if you know anything like this let me know what you thought of the review down there below in the comment section and while you're at it why don't you give me a like a comment you know subscribe hit that notification bell and tell a friend even share the video if you'd like if you want to help me out that way and when you hit notifications hit all notifications so you don't miss out on my content youtube is really funny you have to hit all notifications or you really won't get notified of my videos so definitely do that if you don't want to miss out on my content i'll see y'all next time my friends this is a good fragrance it really is thank y'all so much for being here today i really do appreciate you all the love and all the support I'll see you next time, my friends. Wear what you love, rock what you got, and uh, peace out and bye.